process video for Lottie Loves Paper using the gorgeous September kit and I'm using the papers and die cuts from Pretty Little Studio Savannah Dreams range for my layout. My layout is um, from, it's a scrap lift, um, Natalie in the For the Love of Pretty Paper Facebook group did a Facebook live scrap lift the other day and lots of us have been joining and I didn't get to join in at the time but I've had a go at the layout now and you can see the original was in the still pictures at the beginning of the video. So I'm starting my layout with a ten and a half square piece of white cardstock which I've applied a layer of gesso to and I'm now coming in with my distress oxides to create um, a watercolour effect background and I'm using my brayer I'm watering down the distress oxides just on an acrylic block there to the side of me and I'm just applying the colour with my brayer by sort of tapping and bouncing the brayer over the cardstock I'm not doing a solid sort of sweeping roll um, I'm just tapping and, and um, rolling just a little bit just to add some um, areas of colour but not too solid. So, so far I've used tumbled glass and twisted citron and I'm now coming in with some spun sugar to add some pinks. I love the colours in this Pretty Little Studio range and um, I'm just trying to kind of create a soft background for the die cuts and my photographs. Um, using similar colours. I've decided that that sponge sugar is not quite a strong enough pink so I've added some worn lipstick there and I'm just going to add some touches of that over my background and then going to let that dry. So now that has dried I'm using the Vicky Bouton stencil which was also part well it was available as an add-on um, to buy with the Lottie Loves Paper embellishment kit and I'm using Ranger texture paste to add through that heart stencil just to add some texture to my background and I'm going to add it in that bottom right quarter and then also in the top right quarter. And now that's dry, you can see that the texture paste has actually picked up that colour from underneath. I don't know whether the texture paste absorbs the colour or you can see the colour through the paste. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I love the effect. And so I've used the 12 by 12 Pretty Little Studio papers to create a double frame. For my layout so I've got the script paper there and that pretty blue floral and I've just stuck my mixed media square onto those frames you'll see when I turned it over you'd have seen that um, shocking bright pink on the background and that was a sheet of card that I used just to stabilize that mixed media square because it had warped a little um, and so I used double-sided tape across the um, area of just a piece of scrap A4 card just to um, steady it a bit and flat to help flatten it out. I've got my photographs here and I'm just using some of the paper from the 6x6 six six paper pack. Again, still the same Savannah Pretty Little Studios range. And I'm using fairly neutral papers to add my photographs, just a, a little border to both photographs and I'm going to use a 4x4, the photographs are 4x4, four four. I'm going to use a 4x4 four four piece here for that photograph of baby that I've trimmed down just so that there's an extra edge, just a bit of extra detail rather than having both the photographs just the same size. So just positioning my photograph there and as always adding fun foam to the backs of my photographs to give them a bit of dimension on my layout. 
So with my photographs in place, I want to use the die cuts to embellish those two remaining quarters. So I'm going to start by creating a little embellishment cluster of my own using the scrap of script paper and adding a couple of embellishments. There's that little circle there from the die cut pack and that's from the happy place die cut pack. Sorry, I was just checking what it was called there. There were two die cut packs available this month. Um, one was floral fantasy and the one I use most of today is happy place. So I've added a border to that script piece and I'm going to use that little circle die cut and I'm just looking for something else to add along the top edge for a little bit more detail. I've got the daydream label stickers and the other this oh I can't remember what those sorry I can't remember what the uh, word stickers were called there that I've got but they're both from the Pretty Little Studios range and then those little white sticker sheet is um, they were called A Birdie Told Me and I've just chosen one of those to add onto that colourful sticker along the top there and I'm just getting some foam pads to add to that die cut circle just to raise that a little bit, add a bit more dimension. So I want something else on, that's not, it's not finished, I'm not um, happy with that as it is. So I'm having a look through and I pull out the Amy Tangerine Puffy Heart stickers, which were actually in the kit, the Little Loves, Lottie Loves Paper Kit last month. So I'm just sneaking those in to add a little bit of uh, colour to that label. And now, as you can see, I've filled the majority of the remaining quarters of my layout and I'm just creating another piece here to tuck under my photograph and I'm going to add some labels to that piece for me to do my journaling on. So now I'm happy with the placement of all of the die cuts I'm going to start gluing them down using my silicon glue gel so that I can vary the height um, at which they're placed I'll pop some up a little bit with a little bit more dimension than others so that really cute cloud with the rainbow I've I've sort of raised quite a bit the um the this makes me happy word I've um I've got quite raised as well there's a couple of little bits the orange circle and the blue and orange hearts there that are from the Vicky Bouton field notes die cut pack the ephemera pack that came with the embellishment kit this month and you can see that I've just added a little pink border down the side of that baby photograph I felt it needed just something along the edge there and I've just stuck a little butterfly on and I'm just looking for something else to add to that photo looking to see whether there's any words I want to add just reading through those words there's some really cute words on there some quite unusual ones um but I go back to the Amy Tangerine puffy heart stickers adding a couple dotted across the layout just wiggling that hot air balloon there you see the beauty of that silicon glue gel wasn't quite happy with the placement and I was able to just wiggle it around till I was happy with it and another puffy heart just there next to that photograph and that's my layout done apart from as always the nouveau drops i've already added some blue and yellow just finishing the <laughs>